Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, August 4th, 2019, and this is my newest segment of Markets uh, A Look Ahead. Before you even get started, uh, I want to apologize for missing my post-market wrap-up on Friday. Uh, I did post on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn that I would not be doing a post-market wrap-up Friday. Something came up all of a sudden, and I, I had to take care of it. Very important. You know, I would never leave all of you hanging unless it was something serious. Well, it was. Anyway, um, I get all these uh, emails. Greg, what happened to you? Are you okay? Look, I love all of you too, and I mean that uh, from the heart, and I want to thank you for that. All right, anyway, let's move forward. You know what? We're going to sum this up real quick here. This is what you can expect this week, and... I believe sincerely that there is a uh, an elevated, if not reasonably high, uh, element of a downside risk in this market moving forward. And for my lions out here, you're going to capitalize on this. Uh, this is an opportunity for you. Uh, and it's also an opportunity for people to sit back and evaluate their situation and I covered this at length in the video I did on Friday a warning if you have not seen that video I am going to strongly urge you to go watch it Um, I talked about a lot of important things here and you need to start getting in the uh, or at least gaining a perspective of where we are going and I tried to lay this out for you Uh, With regard to uh, percentages, do you believe the market is going to go up 20% or drop 20% or more uh, in the immediate future? I believe sincerely there is downside risk here because of what's occurring in the bond market. Look, the bond market is not just flashing red. It's a bright, steady red at this particular time. The Federal Reserve in Every effort they're making here, along with the president who's calling for lower rates, cannot fix the problem. The problem is a world saturated in debt. And adding debt to the problem only exacerbates every single underlying issue that there is. Look, it's very simple. Markets and economies generally run in four cycles. For those of you that are not aware of this, Uh, You get a contraction, you get a trough, uh, you get an expansion and a peak. That's how it works. It's very, very simple. But this, this environment is not allowing these natural occurrences in the markets, in the economies to occur. Our economy is actually... In con- way in contraction. Our economy is failing here in the United States. The economy is fail- are failing around the world, and it's very simple why. We are awash in debt, and we are not allowing natural market cycles to occur anymore. It's about pumping more debt into the market just to keep everything propped up. I mean, that's exactly where we are at. It's an unnatural state. And it is very, very dangerous. It's going to correct the fair value. There's no doubt about it. So the understanding this, the only thing supporting this entire market for now, an entire decade, is debt. The explosion of debt on an epic scale that we have never seen before. And, you know, it's the truth. Who's going to be forced to pay for it all and bail everything out? You are. Uh, if 2008 showed us anything, it set a precedent for what's about to happen. The banks will not lose. I guarantee you that. Um, and I've explained to you that the plan is very simple. And it's been going on for decades upon decades upon decades, multiple decades. Central banks who are run by private banks, very simple. They, they are executing their plan perfectly, which is to allow um the respective central banks to be the lenders and buyers of last resort. They want to own the world, and they are owning the world. Um, They control every aspect of our society because they dictate the rules when it comes to modes of 
transactions. You understand? You remember how every mem member of Congress, even our president, flipped out? You can't be in cryptocurrencies. Oh, no. You must remain in the dollar. That should tell you something about our president, about every single member of Congress, about every world leader. This is where we are at. They want you in that dollar. They need you in that dollar so they can control you. It's a control mechanism. It's very simple. You should be well aware of this. Nothing happens by accident, people. Nothing happens by accident in this environment. And I can promise you that even without President Trump's call to hit China with um, more tariffs, which was a direct attempt, uh, it wasn't even a, a, a way to go around it, a direct attempt to get the Fed to push rates lower. Well, the president did this because he knows. It's very simple. Very simple equation. It's going to hurt the U.S. economy. It's going to hurt corporate America. So what are they going to do? Pump the economy with more easy money, lower rates, decimate the middle class or anyone holding an interest earning account, force the middle class to subsidize the stock market even further and attempt to keep stocks propped up. But again, we have to factor this in. And we've all known this for a very, very long time. Please pay attention. I've explained to you, since the election of Donald Trump, I was one of the first guys, if not the first, literally, look it up, guy to say that stocks, the stock market would vault higher under President Trump. It was so simple to understand what was going to happen, how he was going to play this. The president is the easiest man to read on the face of the earth. Um, there's been no other president before him or any other world leader that's easier to read than President Trump. We know what he wants. We know how he is in bed with the Federal Reserve. So we know what's going to happen. It's just so simple. So we act accordingly. We plan our strategy accordingly. Okay? And that goes right back to the premise that I've been saying since day one. Bet against the debt and become your own central bank. I don't know another guy out here saying that. And if they are, they rip me off because I was undoubtedly the first guy to say those two things. So um, understanding the environment we're in makes it very simple to put a perspective on what you have to do. For yourself, look, we have to start thinking about what we can do now, right now, before this stuff really gets going, to uh, protect the, our investments, to capitalize on the situation, because we're going to weaponize the system. You and I are going to weaponize the system against the freak show, okay, that has one thing in mind, and that is to destroy you. The absolute elimination of the middle class on a grand scale like we have never seen. The middle class already almost does not exist. You know that. One in four Americans are borrowing from their credit cards just to make ends meet. Meanwhile, you know, I mean, you, know, you have our politicians trying to tell you that everything is just great. It's not just great. We could not be worse off than we are right now. That's the truth, because we have the illusion being, being mouthed uh, by our politicians that everything is as good as it gets. Meanwhile, you can look at every single metric that you want to look at, and it points to this economy in free fall. All right? So, again, it's always the same story. At the end of World War II, the German people believed they were winning the war. Why? Because that's what they were being told by the leaders in power. That's, and it's the same story throughout history. The leadership of the country is lie and lie and lie. Uh, and the last people to know are the middle class or whoever's left, let's say, at the end of a war. And they still believe because they want to believe. It's a human nature to believe everything is going to be fine. But if you look at everything and you understand where we are, again, things are not fine by a long shot. Now, let's go back to this. Um, so... We need to watch the bond market people. Right on my website, traderschoice.net, there is a link in the description of this video. I have a chart of the bond market. You can follow uh, the action of the bond market right there. You can use the CNBC app to track the entire yield curve. You can see what's going on here. Our yield curve is absolutely inverted, and they cannot stop the long end of the curve from coming down. What we are watching right now, and again, I cover this at length in my video I did on Friday. Watch it, a warning if you missed it. I explained to you that we need to watch the spread between the two-year treasury and the 10-year bond. We're watching, watching the, the spread between them. 
The market is watching that too. Mark my words. And how do I know that? Because I'm a market guy. Because I'm a market participant. I talk to everybody. All right? Now, the market is not going to like it. Stocks are not going to like it if the spread between the 2 and the 10 continues to narrow. I firmly believe we are going to get a 2-10 inversion. Now, this is why right now is so critical. Why you need to understand where you need, what you need to do where you are right now with regard to your investment portfolios. And again, a lot of people have been asking me questions. If you have an investment in a 401k or, in, or uh, some kind of investment that only makes money when stocks go up, that's being managed by whoever it may be, get on the phone with that person and explain to them very simple. You want to minimize, you want to minimize equity risk in your portfolio. That's all. Let them handle it, because I don't. A lot of you don't understand that there are things that can be done to move cash around your portfolio to protect it, um, at least minimize a hit that it can take. Now I can sit here and outline all this for you, but it's not going to make any difference. It really won't. If if you manage your own cash, then it would make a difference. But if you are having it managed by a bank or whoever it might be, you need to talk to these people and. And, and I, I want to put a perspective on that, too, real quick. I know this is getting long-winded, and I'm going to ask you to share this video. Um, you get on the horn with these people, you explain to them your concerns. Now, they're going to try to talk you out of a few things, but it doesn't matter. It's what you say and what you believe is what matters. Now, let's say, for example, you take your portfolio, you have your fund manager uh, organize it in a way that minimizes equity risk. And all of a sudden, the stock market decides to go higher. What did you really lose? You, you, you're at all-time record highs with regard to the stock market. Okay, so you lock in wherever, you, wherever we're at right now, or you get or close to it. Stocks go up. You reevaluate your portfolio in a few months, and you, you change the funds around again. It's no big deal. I mean, you know, they're going to try to convince you. Understand, look, and I firmly believe this. If you follow this blog, for, for any amount of time, a year or two, you could probably talk circles around your, your fund manager. They don't even know what you're talking about. They do not know. All they care about is fees. That's all they care about. They don't give a damn about your portfolio. Absolutely not. All they care about is being paid. So understand their perspective. Your perspective is totally different. You want to protect your assets, the things you have worked for. Make sense? All right. Anyway, going back to the yield curve. The 2 to 10 spread is critical. The market is watching the 2 to 10 spread. Um, although the yield curve is, inver is inverted now, this is the one that everyone's watching. I believe it's going to invert. Now, it doesn't mean that when we get that inversion, and it's coming, it's going to come very soon, that all of a sudden stocks are going to peel off and, and, and plunge. That's not what's going to happen. Let me clarify for you if history is a guide. Let's use history as a guide. You should always use it. Again, there's a lag time. This is why, and that lag time can vary. Um, it can it can be as high as a year, uh, but again, in this environment, we have to be careful. We don't know. We don't know where, where it can be because this is where no man or no woman has gone before. So watch the 2 to 10 spread. I will cover that in my videos with you. So believe me, as that spread narrows or, or, or inverts, I will uh, let you know. So I would strongly advise you. Uh, to continue to watch these this video blog, and I will keep you all on top of it. Believe me, because I watch this stuff around the clock. So you won't have to be mystified about it. I will tell you. But so what I'm trying to say is there's no reason at all to panic in this market right now. You just need to start to think. Just allow yourself some time to sit down, evaluate your situation, what you need to do. That's all. Uh, it should make a lot of sense to you. Um, and if you're a trader in this market, especially with this week coming, uh, if you have my quant system, and I've been getting feedback about my quant system that you cannot believe. I'm thrilled from uh, people that are utilizing it um, and, and, and are profiting from it. And you know what to do. You will pay it forward. You will pay it forward. If you profit off of my work, that's 100% free. This quant system is 100% free. And if you want it, there is a link in the description of this video. You profit from it, you take a small percentage of it, and you donate that profit to, to a percentage of that profit to a charity that you believe in. You must pay it forward. It's very important. I cannot stress that enough. We are all responsible for each other, people. In this crazy, sick, twisted world that we live in, 
we at least got to depend on each other. Okay, I'm depending on you, and I'm certain that you're depending on me to give you um, at least some guidance here, and outline this in a way that is understandable for everyone. All right now, look. With that said, I, I really believe this video has been important. I've covered a lot of important topics. Uh, I went beyond the week ahead, uh, and what you can do is expect high volatility, downside risk, and I think. There's a lot of downside risk in this market. Please share this video. I'm counting on you. If you're part of my team, over 90,000 strong on YouTube alone, um, please get it out there. Let people hear this stuff. Make up their own minds, their own decisions. And um, I, I just think it's really important. All right, with that said, this guy loves you again. Thank you for all the, Greg, what happened to you? Where's the video? It's amazing. You guys and girls. Top notch in my book. Uh, I will see you in the morning. We're going to reevaluate the markets. And you know what me and my lines and wannabe lines are going to do? We're going to rip the face off of this market beyond recognition because we are not going to let these freaks win. We're going we're gonna to nail them to the wall. In every way we possibly can, we're going to weaponize this game against them. That's what we're going to do. That's what I've been doing and most of my lines too. Anyway, see you in the morning.